Hi everyone, I'm Mansfield City Manager Joe Smolinski. The fall and winter seasons are pretty special here in Mansfield. I think in large part due to the, the wonderful celebrations that our staff work so hard to put on each year. We recently had a great event for, for our veterans. And the next thing we've got coming up is the hometown holidays, which has been moved to downtown. Hence yep. the shirt that you're wearing there today. There we go. <laughs> Speaking of this, today I have Tim Roberts with me. He's the marketing and promotions manager for the City of Mansfield's Convention and Visitors Bureau. Uh, he's got an important job because he's not only the one in charge of planning and branding special events, he's also the one that makes sure you know about them. Because uh, there's no point in holding a big special event if nobody knows about it. Uh, so Tim, I, I wanted a, everyone to get a better idea of what it is that uh, goes into spreading awareness about our special events. And can you give some example of the uh, what it takes to accomplish that task. Oh yeah, I mean obviously I think we stress people all the time that special event planning starts nine months ahead of time. You know, we're, we're, we're celebrating Christmas over there at, at, at our planning meetings back in February. And so we put a lot of work at the very beginning of the year uh, mm -hmm. for all these different events. And then it's just a matter of, you know, making sure we target it right. Make sure we update the event to what people in Mansfield want to see. We are very, very open to feedback. Whenever we get feedback, we institute that. It's what we do constantly. And just try to make it bigger and better all the time. And I hope that is reflected in what people see every single year. I think it is. I think people really appreciate it. We get a lot of great feedback about the special events that we have. Uh, but tell us, tell us a little bit about what it is that you had to do to prepare yourself for this role. You go to school for it? Tell us something about yeah, it. Yeah, uh, well, I, I do all the videos and graphics and all the fun stuff you see there. So I, I went to school uh, to be a filmmaker, um, and then I graduated and realized I actually wanted to have a real job. Uh, so I, I, I got into, you know, just the, the heavier media world, worked television news for years, really honed my video and editing skills. Uh, and when the opportunity here in Mansfield opened up, I said, that just sounds like everything I want to do, you know, Great. making videos, making graphics you know, still spreading news in a way, uh, but you know, in a very, very cool, localized, fun way. And so it's, it gets to touch all the creative buttons I want to do and while promoting really great stuff. So why, why do you think it's important that what you do reaches the public that we serve? Well, we obviously, we want people to know about this kind of stuff. You know, we, we have to have you know about it. We have to have you attending. And it just makes the city so much better a place to live uh, when you know there's things going on, where we can bring guests from out of town in to stay in the hotels and visit things. Uh, benefit the local businesses. Events really do touch every single corner of what we want to do, especially in the Commission and Visitors Bureau world. Uh, and again, we want people to be so proud of their town. We want people to be able to, you know, say, this is our event. This is the cool thing. You know, when you're out on a cruise somewhere, it says, oh, what's cool about Mansfield? And you can name one of our events. That's what we want to yeah. really embed in your mind. Yeah, so of all the events you put together, what's your favorite? Oh my goodness. Well, I want to stress, Angie Henley puts them together. I just make sure I put them out there. So I, she's... I, I would agree, and if Angie's watching this, <laughs> Angie, I, you, you, do, you do that. She, she puts them together. I just make sure people know about them. I mean, Hometown Holidays is great, but really for me, uh, the Rockin' Fourth of July, aka Mansfield Rocks, as we rebranded it, that's just so much fun every year. I mean, the fireworks show is so spectacular. Uh, we have so many great events out there at, at Big League Dreams and Hawaiian Falls. That's really the one I look forward to the most. Maybe it's just because I, I love Fourth of July as well, but that, that, that really is, I feel like, the biggest one we're able to put on every year. But of course, you gotta love Hometown Holidays. Uh, just, you know, it, it's, it's that Hallmark Christmas movie uh, type of sure. event, it feels like. Sure, yeah, I think my, my favorite's always the Veterans Parade, but uh, I think followed very closely behind that is Hometown Holidays, and I'm really excited about it being moved to downtown this year. So tell us a little bit about that, what's planned for the event. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna have all of Main Street uh, turned into a classic carnival midway, essentially. Uh, we're gonna have a giant carousel, Ferris wheel, all those great carnival games. Uh, we're gonna have, of course, the ice slide, the sled hill is gonna be out there Friday night. Visits with Santa, and then uh, again, we can't have an event in Mansfield without some sort of fireworks. Uh, so we'll have the tree lighting and fireworks on Saturday night. It's gonna be beautiful too. You've seen the fireworks here at City Hall. Now those fireworks are gonna be going off over historic downtown Mansfield. So it's gonna be a really picturesque thing to see. So you can find the full schedule at visitmansfieldtexas.com okay. uh, or on mansfieldtexas.gov. Uh, we'll have all the schedules up there for you guys to find. And we'll make sure you come out to, why not both nights? You know, come out for both. Well, there will be plenty to do both days uh, for you to make two trips out there. That's great. 
Well, Tim, thank you very much for everything you do for the city of Mansfield, especially for those that either have a business or, or live here. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.